Hello everyone. Uh, I have hopefully sorted out a slight audio issue. Well, I realised I was quite quiet, so if I'm quite loud, I am sorry. Uh, again, these are my videos on my fumble games that are on mostly competitive with one test game. Um, just to see where I can improve and also for the first few games to figure out what team I want to play. So I played Norse and Nick Romantic, which one is uh, my oldest team, one is a team I've always wanted to try. And now I'm about to play out Chaos Dwarfs. Uh, this was after a week of debate and conversation and deciding, uh, talking to a few of my mates. Um, basically wanted to go for a more defensive bashy team and also a better team. Um, uh, this is because, I mean Norse are tier 1 but they are harder to pilot because of their low armour. Um, so yes, uh, it was going to be Nurgle, but then tried to pick one that was tier 1. Chaos Dwarfs aren't played that much in my league. Um, so yeah, decided to give them a go. Uh, this is against uh, Tomb Kings. Once again, I am downhill on TV. This is... I think I said I had... Um, Acorn before. I, that was a lie. I, this is the game where I have Acorn. Um, so this is where I'm eight, uh, 90k down. Uh, so we can see they've got uh, a block thrower. I should do this with the other ones. I'll do this from now on. A dirty player skeleton. A surehand skeleton. Uh, a frenzy skeleton. Which I love. I really do. Um, and then just some rookies. That guy, that guy has got six SPP and hasn't bought anything. I'm assuming he is going for that tasty, tasty block. Uh, just go, just show you my team. I've gone for the one mino, one centaur, uh, five blocker build with three rerolls. Um, I will say I really did enjoy playing this team. I haven't played Chaos Force before, and it was really good. Anyway, I let him start. Let's start this out again. This is black box. I've changed the, the pitch to help my eyes. I actually didn't need it, it turns out. But I'm still going to do it anyway. Uh, this is for the spread dimension. There he is, there's Acorn. Um, I'll just quickly say now, he's fun, but he's not very good. Even with his dauntless skill, he he just gets himself killed. Um, cool, high kick. Uh, so yeah, here we go. Again, Bonehead Bokar set up. Three dwarfs on the line. Put that block in the way. <coughs> Let's get on that pause button so we can talk about where I went wrong. He's just going to farm the blocks. It's not really much to say here. I, uh, I don't hate this setup, to be honest. <coughs> maybe, maybe Hobgoblin should have gone on the line. But look at that. I got a turnover. Third activation got a turnover. Luckily, he's got the ball. And he's safe. So he was right to do that. Um, what should I be doing? What should I be doing? I should be trying to blitz up north. I think I'm about to, so that's all right. Um, again, like what I had with the Yeti, not sure I can really get the uh, Mino in. Oh, I did these wrong around. The Minotaur should have been in the front, possibly with the Hobgoblin and then Centaur on one of the wings. So that's a slight miss set up there, but I was trying to set up pretty fast. Oh, no, 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 no. I should have blitzed up north. Oh, I'm just going in to try and get one of the big guys down. Oh, that was a misclick as well. I will say, that was supposed to be the Minotaur making that blitz. Um, from the south. It was going to push upwards and get the assists. Um, so yes, that was a misclick there. And now I decided just to commit and get the assists and try and start hurting more skeletons. And then stay there to get the second block at some point. Steven, please. No, okay. Push back, push back. Should I uphill? Because I can. Just columning down there to keep safe. Eh, not brilliant. Not the worst. I should have blitzed up north. I know there was a misclick, but he still should have come up north. I think I also forget that he's basically movement 9. Especially in this first game. I really needed to think about it. Um, block on block action. And now he's way too committed has to take the reroll. Yeah, bless him. He has some bad luck in the first few turns of this game. 
then chew through his rerolls. Uh, yep, that's fair. I'm gonna start pushing up north. I assume, yeah. He doesn't really have to commit too much at this point. Um, he is technically stronger in the south. Yeah, actually, if I was him, I probably would have pushed a bit more further south. I'm trying to figure out, right? Uh, basically, just trying to get a bit of room here. And also just, yeah, get the Minotaur in the mix and start freeing up some of my players who can't dodge that well. Dodging in paired, you might say. Um, again, ah, oh, that's more match for I should be telling what I should be doing. Uh, so that Blitz was in with the Minotaur. Yeah. Yeah, it's not too bad. Maybe Blitz the Skeleton instead next time. Actually get towards the ball. <laughs> One dice. He did force me to time out. Oh, shit. Oh, sorry, that's annoyed me. I'd never force someone to time out. That's. Oh, okay, that's annoyed me. Anyway, moving on. It doesn't matter now. I was wishing him well. I saw him playing against someone else earlier today. Oh, oh well, I know his win record with this team isn't fantastic. So there we go. Um, <laughs> he might be better. I should go check that. He's moving south. Night. What should we be doing? Let's think. Where should our blitz be? See, if I had the Minotaur free, I would say here. The Minotaur cannot really get free. There's no point using Acorn, because the, the dice roll is too high to get... I need a 6. It's not going to happen. Um, I, can I get... I think really you want to line up these dwarves, blitz, and then try and move through his space to get towards the ball carrier. I think I'm actually about to do that. He stays up there. Doxy, yeah, I should have been a blitz. Well, it was, yeah, I should have been a blitz so I can get in. At least, though, I am very much on his way. To be honest, with that going back to that timeout, he may have been a bit salty at his luck, so <laughs> Yeah, blitz round back. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I should maybe past me is wiser. Acorn getting round. I should have dodged Acorn in. Maybe. Just be in the way. He's got sidestep and dodge. He's just been a pain around here. He hasn't got a lot of block to get rid of him. Yeah, if I redraft this team and continue after the first 15 games, I absolutely am not taking the Minotaur. <laughs> that is a later purchase. I think that's why I know I did pretty good. I just forced him back. I will say, Acorn was hard to see on this green map. Now I'm, get, now I'm trying to commit him in. I'm like, he's 80k, a free player. He might as well get in there. He should have gone... Oh no, I wanted to keep him away from this <coughs> Guardian. It's so hard to move those two Guardians. Even when you have a <coughs> block. I'm just, the ball. I'm just causing mayhem if I can. Blitz. Oh yeah, this is where I start realising that actually... I have nine squares of movement, so yes, I am happy with that blitz. Ball obviously not a great scatter. It's just not beat around the bush. It's not a great scatter. I haven't got the two dice, so I'm not going to even try that. 
Good for him. I mean, I guess actually, it gives him some room. Yeah, fair enough. I think that was your hands here. I shouldn't have followed up there. I should have just gone round. That was a mistake. Oh yeah, badly hurt. Well done, Ilunga. Oh, I, that was a... Um, I didn't realise you couldn't attack a down player. I should have stood him up first. Yep, yeah, this is where Akon just leaves the game. <laughs> Which was funny, he only got to do, he didn't even get to a block. Uh, yeah, I completely misused him. I should have just committed him early on. He was a free player. Uh, people out of the way. I'm not hating my turns with, at the moment with the Chaos Force. It's a lot easier because obviously things are going better. But I still think I'm making right choices. Oh yeah, that's done him. Which I was a bit like, I do not know how I'm going to get keep him safe now. Um, so I'm just doing my best to put tackle zones around him. <coughs> no, luckily, got the loner reroll. Now I'm getting the attrition out. <coughs> uh, yeah, fair enough, not moving there. Yeah, I think he's waiting to see... Uh, Take that one die blitz on the ball carry because you might as well. <coughs> Power push was unfortunate there. I very easily could have stayed in my hands. <coughs> so what do we do here? Actually, I think I know what I'm going to do, and I think it's the right choice. Blitz him away, get the hobgoblin on the ball, and absolutely peg it down the field. Yep. And just failed three plus re rolling pickup. You can't help that. Turn eight. This is going to be blocked, so we're going to skip forward a bit. Um, so, yes, nothing there. Back up to his four rerolls. Oh, I think he's also got an extra reroll. I'm not sure. It might be how, how his build works. Uh, obviously, I'm going to farm these blocks. This guy does it as well. The Putting Tomb Guardians on the second and third rows. Brilliant play. It makes it such a pain to deal with. Here we go. Dropped first. See, I'm learning. Cover the ball first. I think I should have blocked. Yeah. If I remember correctly, what I should have done is blocked with the Minotaur first on him. Push him that way. And he blocks, and then he blocks, and go up. I should start with the middle. That's what I need to remember next time, to start with the middle. But then I get to do a blitz. Oh, yes. That... I hate looking back. I don't know if I could do anything else because his Tomb Guardians are in fantastic positions. So maybe optimal choice. But having to use my Blitz just to move the Minotaur downwards, I wish I could have actually hit something or Blitzed with the Minotaur and gone out. But I think... Oh, maybe that's also why I didn't do the proper roll was because the Minotaur would have ended up near these Tomb Guardians again. Um... It's, maybe it is the right play, but I'm annoyed that I had to do it, or that I did it. Not sure if I should move down this far. Maybe he should stay up here, actually. But at least, he's not too close. It is, again, it's just a screen. A screen in a loose cage. Boom. 
It's a bit ironic when a dwarf goes down to Pow Push. Right, so what do we do here? Where are we going? Unfortunately, I can't go far. The Tomb Guardians are quite sp evenly spread in the middle. Um, I think I should go south. Looking at this now, calmly, I should go south. I think I should blitz with the Minotaur into this skeleton, clear out, try and screen off around here, and move down south. just go for the big guys. It's because um <sighs> it's because I want to get them out of the way. Yeah. This is I think I'm gonna try and swing north. Now I've got that one down. Now I've made this side weaker, I'm trying to swing back north. Really I should have avoided the tomb guardian and swung into this skeleton. Pushed him here, pushed him out here. Yeah, the Minotaur might get hit, but at least I might have room. This isn't a horrible position I've ended up in. I'm not saying I, this is bad, but this may have been better. So now what do we do? Well, we're now we're up north. Um, this tomb garden is coming back soon. Uh, ha, 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 ha. This is not easy. I think try and stand up the minotaur. I don't think blitz. Stand him up. See if you can block this guy away, and try and get supports in here to take out these Tomb Guardians, and try and consolidate in this space up north, now we've committed to the north part. News to Blitz, that's not the end of the world who's in the Blitz. Oh, of course, um. Horns. I keep forgetting Horns. He's so much <coughs> better than the Yeti. Yep, I'm coming for the assist. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm tired. Pass me goes better. Better ideas. Yep, might as well move up. Oh, no, 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 he shouldn't have come down. I should, yeah, I need to get people in here to help with the blocks. I'm just going for a screen. Oh, I'm moving down south. I know what I was saying, I was trying to get him to commit his Tomb Guardians too far one way or the other. But that was, no, I should have gone north. Northern. I think what I might start doing is putting on a, a timer or something for a minute on my phone and having a minute to think about what I want to do and then do it in two minutes. I was much more relaxed in this game. I was a bit on edge because I was kind of semi-committed to Chaos Torch at this point. That was, that was bad for me. Losing the centaur was bad. That was a lot of strength that just lost off the pitch. I will say, I prefer the top down view of a um, fumble to Blood Bowl 2 and 3. I know you can make it top down, but it feels very zoomed out. It just feels quite... I don't want to say natural, but it just feels better. That was a bad, risky block. But hey, I, I get rewarded. Unfortunately, my ball is away from the strength. And I feel like... Nisi's now going to have to try and commit again. Um, 
far things. I've missed my turn. I'll talk about my <coughs> next turn. Uh, that's good. Or bad, I mean. So, we need to just now start getting through, and unfortunately, this is all getting jammed up with corpses. Uh, this is kind of lost. Um, it really is. Uh, this is where the space is in the middle. I need to come through here, really. So, we can't blitz that way. Can't get anyone in here. That's the problem. The problem is, is the strength. Is this guy is just in the way. Um, uh, what would you do? What would you do? I think you bring this guy up. You block with him down. And try and push him backwards. Having to follow me or block with him, bringing him up, do a block here to move him and get the other chaos dwarf to blitz him down and then try and set up in this centerpiece. Or make sure the ball saves first. <coughs> that is probably a smart choice. Then bring him. I'd go for it. He should. I should have gone for it to here and make this extra block. Oh, okay. Let's just be honest here. Past me was making much better decisions than current tired me is. Yep, that was good. Bring him up. Yep, that's fine. I need to bring this hobgoblin down here. Stephen, please bring this hobgoblin down here. Yes. Okay, yep. I don't know what it was, but I was on it with this game. This problem is these three are now all together. It might be a point where we start blitzing with the miners and bringing them down. I don't know. I'm going to see how this plays out and see what happens. Just bring him up. Yeah, we're just trying to farm the blocks. We haven't got a huge amount of time, but we've got some. Okay. Risky, considering he's just down. Don't hate it completely, but I haven't got the movement to get away. He's <coughs> on the ball. I think he blitz in case he has to come back around. Yeah, come back down here. Come back. Right, what you do at this point is you just dodge. You do as many safe things as you can. You <coughs> come around, you dodge. You try and give the ball to someone down here and you try and reform and come and side cage around here. That's helpful. Oh. Ah, 
else. What do you do? Okay, so apparently I haven't got about the blitz. Um, he is the only player on the ball, actually. And I have a fair few assists. Uh, it is now my turn 8, so I can't do much. So yeah, I think we can start wrapping this up. Um, farm blocks, get glory <coughs> pass, which I do attempt. And see. So obviously, through the three actual <coughs> games that I've played, we've gone from 2-0 <coughs> loss to 1-0 loss to a 0-0 draw. So, theory, my next game should be a 1 0 win. And now I've said it, it won't happen. Um, so, yes. Uh, I think that I just I was just on it with the Chaos Wolves. I was just having a very good day mentally. Um, I really do like them. I like their skills. I like their flexibility with the gobbos. Um, so, this will be the team I'm taking forward. I might also. I probably will take the Norse forward afterwards. Um, but, of course. They need a bit of building back up. Uh, even though he timed me out, I do wish this coach the best. Gravel evolved. Um, but yeah, I think from this game, I learnt... <sighs> I think I just need to think about where I want the ball to go. It's probably because it's more important with this team, because they're a slower team. Um, I think my blitz targets were pretty on point, for the most part. I think I'm getting better with that. Obviously, this team can commit. Yeah, so I think I just need to think about where I want the ball to go. But yes, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. This was good for me to go back over it again. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.